Uh, so far, um, our performance breakdown is as follows. We had two A plane, we had uh, four A minus, uh, 29 B plus, 104 B plane, 123 B minus, 41 C plus, and 6 C plane. And we attained a mini standard score of 8.4. 17 which is a slight drop from last year's exam that uh, in which we had a mean of 8.8 .8. the other year we had 361 students all of whom had C plus and above but this year we dropped a bit in terms of the mini grade but we thank God that there is something new that took place <coughs> and we had purpose to attain that 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 new thing and that is scoring grade A plane for the first time in the history of this school that is almost 60 years old. So last year we set out with my team when I came, I made it very clear that I wanted, because they had achieved almost everything, and therefore I said my input must be seen in ensuring that you're going to have a new thing. And that new thing, we came up with a slogan that is OGAL, I think you've seen it around, OGAL, that is O-G-A-L, standing for Operation Grade El Azima. So I introduced this and gave it to the teachers. The teachers put the idea, took it to the students. The students, you know, also <coughs> bought the idea. And then we started working as a team. Everyone in the compound owned Ogar. And therefore we set out to ensure that we scored the main grade of A. We want to thank God because we scored a plane, two of them, for the first time. Primary school, I scored one two hundred and eighty one marks. Uh, but uh, in primary, I I didn't aim those those marks. I aimed around three hundred and above. But uh, unfortunately, it came that. But uh, I thanked my God. Thank uh, <coughs> Mr. and my topic principal, Mr. Court, who used to encourage me individually. I can say that uh, sometimes I went to him. So he was sitting alone and I told him that I have some challenges in some subject but he used to encourage me that to his teachers who, who are friendly to me and I used that and uh, at strong times I have seen success. Uh, I scored a big plane of 58 points on to pursue a career of, of medicine. Success requires not just individual efforts. It requires collective efforts. And that's what we've done with my team uh, together, Mr. Court here, who is the longest serving teacher in this school. Actually, I stayed for that three years. And uh, with the other team, that is a, a team of more than 60 teachers, and then the support staff, and then the board of management, uh, together with the PA and all that, we decided that we have to get this. So we have really worked hard as a team that is one thing that I want to say has helped us. We worked as a team. Then we are also, also God fearing. This is an SD sponsored score. We always depend on God. Everything that we want to do, even when we set out to achieve this Ogal, we had a celebration. We had a ceremony in which we uh, said this is what we want to say to get and may God help us and we achieved exactly that. We had strategies, several strategies that helped us to in order to achieve this I mean and to achieve the grades that we wanted to achieve. One is that uh, we had personalized attention. And to add, uh, there is the other strategy where we had to group the students and we to give them to teachers, individual teachers. So we kind of had parents. Every group, we had a, a group of around nine, nine, nine candidates per teacher. So we had to have them as our kids, we guide them, we talk to them. Like um, I'm also happy that uh, among, among these uh, uh, top performers, I also have a student. My student was given to me. So we, we, that was a very, a very good strategy that we employed. Uh, we could uh, have enough time with them. You are, you are a group of nine students. Every other time we could call upon them, they come, they consult with us. We look at their areas of weaknesses and then we consult with them. I think that was a, a, a very good strength that we employed. So that is one strategy. The other strategy is that um, we engaged 
uh, ourselves with other schools. We went out, found some schools that we thought could help us, or, you know, spar our, our grade. And we had several joints with them that we came and revised with the boys. And then the boys uh, were also very receptive. Then uh, we also have uh, extra time with the boys. We have extra time with the boys, especially in the mornings and the wee hours uh, of, of the night. Then there is also something that we came up with. We realized that these boys, if they are left on their own, they cannot do even revision. So what we did, I came up with a group that we are calling surveillance group that monitors their revision at night and in the mornings. I realized when I used to stay in the office, sometimes we are there, the boys are making noise at night during preps because we leave the time for them to do their studies. But unfortunately, we discovered they are making a lot of noise. And then we came up with that idea. We said we can have a group of teachers that we know can go uh, out of their way and ensure that there is silence and ensure that there is revision being done. So the surveillance group really helped us in straightening uh, uh, the path for, for the boys so as to get the mean that we got and even the emphasizing on the use of um, past cases in the past. We don't rush for the mocks and all that because sometimes we discovered um, what we get from out there may not be genuine. So we went out of our way and ensured that we availed the past KCSC exam papers, their, and their, 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 their what, the marking schemes and all that. And then we ensured that the boys got access to those past papers and they used them. And we monitored their use of the papers. That one also helped.